Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we are going to be working outside. So we are going to start with my fall clean and decorate. Um, I'm going a very different route this year than what I did last year. If you guys watched that video, um, but still I feel it turns out really nice. And of course, what you guys see here, I do end up adding more stuff towards um, the next couple of days so I will be having to share an update with you guys but we're just going to go ahead and start off by moving all of my plants and every furniture piece that is on the cement area because I do want to give it a nice wash down it is super dusty and just has like leaves falling on there and stuff like that so it definitely needed to be washed especially like the windowsill like the white part of our wall and then the white part on the columns all of that but we're going to go ahead and remove all of this i did end up throwing that rug into the washer while i was cleaning out here but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video okay so i wanted to hop on here real quick and show it you guys so i recently received a um pressure washer and i do have different colors but i have the blue one it looks more like a turquoise to me but my husband recently put this together so i'm so excited to use this to start washing down our front porch and our back porch as well if you guys have been around here for a while you guys know i just use a normal hose and try with the pressure that our house has so i'm so excited to use this i really like that it has this so once i'm done i could just roll it up and not have to worry about all of the extra hose and everything and then okay, i do so know it came with some extra and put it together really quick and easy um i just watched him i did not give it a try but it does come with the manual here i did see him using the manual and i didn't see him struggle he put it together like really quick like less than 30 minutes but then it also comes like with this i guess you could put like soap in here and if you need to do like a really good wash hose down and then it also has this hose here which also comes like with the filter i'm not sure how to use this so i would have to check the manual or even ask my husband maybe he knows um but yes i am just so excited to wash down our front porch with this Thing and give it a try and see how powerful and how good it does clean and i will have everything linked down in this description box for you guys if you guys are interested in a really affordable and still very small and handy power washer i love that it's so small that it's not going to take up like a bunch of space so we're going to go ahead and plug it up connect the hose which the hose will be connected here i believe okay, so and then we're going to hide the manual right now and i had said previously that i think the hose goes here the hose actually doesn't go there what goes here is this part here would actually go there and i figure the hose is going to come back over here so we're going to go ahead and assemble that to there take it out plug it up add the hose and spray down our front porch. You've got me questioning my position Am I just feeling out? Okay, so for this whole part, I did have to go back to the manual several times. I am not familiar with the pressure washer, but if you're familiar with one of these, then you guys pretty much already know. Um, so I was putting this part in and I was wondering why it was not staying like tight in. And I was like, if I turn on the water, of course, this is with the pressure, it's just going to pop out. So I went ahead and checked the manual and I realized I had to push it in and then turn it clockwise, obviously. And then afterwards, I was wondering why my water pressure wasn't coming out so like powerful like it was supposed to well smart me didn't turn the on dial like the dial to turn it on like it was running water and it was plugged up but the dial where you turn it to on to actually have it throw out with pressure was not there but i'm just going to go ahead and just start here in the front door i did leave the planter that's there because that one's like a bit heavy to be moving out of the way um 
But yeah, I also noticed that it comes with different settings of the type of water spray you would like to use, and you do have to switch them. Those are colorful buttons in the back of the machine, and you just snap them out from the tip of the of the sprayer and then change it out depending on how much or the style of pressure you want. I think I liked it this style, this style of pressure most out of all four of them. But the one that sprays just like a powerful straight like thin straight spray that one was really good for getting stains out um our house was being rented before we purchased it um like almost 14 years ago so there is some stains in the cement that definitely like just didn't come out like the one where I'm standing here now at the door. I tried my hardest to take out most of what I could and it did really did take out most of it. I noticed the difference, especially after it dried. I actually noticed that it was a whole lot more whiter and cleaner, but it did the job and I'm just so excited with it. But once again, I will have it linked down in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these. Once again, like I mentioned in one of my last videos, Christmas is coming up and this was also something that I thought would make a great gift for a Father's Day or even for your own self because us that are always cleaning and we like to hose down our front porch and everything this was very easy and practical to plug up and just hose down the um, front porch as well as my back porch as you guys can tell here this is the sprayer part that I was telling you guys about that it did do a really good job also too you could notice here with this one and then this part here it had like a rust so it took out most of the rust but it left a really light spot so once it was dried you could barely even see the rust parts in that area but now we're going to go ahead and start moving and rearranging stuff here I did move this planter to this side. I just wanted to give the front of the house like a different vibe or feel. Instead of having this one towards the corner, I'm going ahead and moved it more towards the front of the house. Then I decided to want to put the furniture pieces that I had on the side where the planter is now at over here towards this wall. But I felt like it wasn't looking good. Plus then I was like, you know, I want something different as in something different, different. So I went ahead and removed the chairs and the table. Um, You are going to see that I do put it here at first. But and then afterwards I was like, nope, I want something that screams different. So I went ahead and just removed them. I put them on the side of the house for now. Um, we actually never even sit up here in the front, especially in the summertime because our house is facing the west. Um, so it's like once it's summertime with the sun in the afternoon, the evenings just hits our house so powerful. So it's really hard to even try to enjoy an afternoon or an evening sitting out here in our summer heats. But like I mentioned, I did remove it. I did put a bench that we had in the backyard. Here and I think the bench looks really nice, but here you're gonna see me putting this stuff here. Um, and then of course I did remove it. And then after I put the second chair, you are gonna notice that there's a circle that was down there. Um, afterwards, I did end up cleaning it like with this with the pressure washer, and it did go ahead and clean really nicely. But I'm gonna go ahead and start to stop talking. And I'm gonna let some music play, and I hope you guys are enjoying today's video.
I'm starting off adding some decor. I did layer back my black and white striped rug. This one is from Amazon. I've had it for like five years. Then this Hello Fall sign, I mean the Hello Fall doormat, I got it from Costco. I think it was last year. And then the pumpkins that I put right down the side, like the wooden pumpkins, I did pick that up this year from Goodwill for $4. And then, of course, over here, I'm just trying to play with some faux pumpkins. I haven't had the chance to get my hands on real pumpkins, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and play with faux pumpkins that I have. And I do end up leaving this green and uh, kind of orange on one side pumpkin. I really like this. And I think this one was from Michael's like many years ago. It's one of my favorite pumpkins. Um, but yeah, so last year what I did is I did pretty much a whole pumpkin patch in my front yard with all real pumpkins but this year like I mentioned I wanted to do something a little bit more different I wanted to incorporate more greens and plants and stuff like that and if you guys saw my last video where I shared like my September garden views um then you guys did get to see how my front yard actually looks like with all of the plants that i have added um, after filming this video of course and at the moment i am starting to work on the tree that is in the front of our house like when the grass area i did remove like a whole circle around the tree and i just want to do like a flower bed but i'm indecisive if i want to do the flower bed and then add like top soil on top or should i add wood chips or should i just do like a border and then hire it up so i'm still indecisive but i did remove all of the dirt from around the rim of the tree but coming back to this video of course um i'm just gonna go ahead and put my pink petunia plant over here i did pick this one up at tractor supply for 15 dollars and I just love how everything turned out. Of course, here are all of the afters. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys thought and down in the comments. And once again, if you guys want to see a more update on how my front porch is looking like, go ahead and check out the last video that I posted. Of course, that one shows a lot more plants up in the front yard. But once again, if you guys are in need for some Christmas shopping, of course, for those who like to shop early, don't forget to check it out the description box for the pressure washer and once again thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give this video a like and i'll see you on the next time bye guys